We're just gonna strip this guy butt naked. Butt naked. It's all coming off. Everything's coming off, everything's coming out. I'm gonna make new pickups. Proper. Well, pickup winding looks fun, doesn't it? Uh, if you want to have more videos specifically, hey, I want to, I don't know, do a Stevie Ray Vaughan style set of singles or, or whatever, uh, let us know in the comments. That uh, could be a, a whole series that uh, that Sam and, uh, and Josh do. I mean, I want to learn how to wind pickups, but I also, I, I, I also really don't want to learn how to wind pickups. Explain that to me. Anyway. Let's scratch this up, shall we? Trick is to be a little bit more delicate than I was when I initially started on the Les Paul that uh, I did last month. It's not pushing and trying to cut all the way through multiple layers of paint. It's very gentle. Sculpter blade cut. Okay, brand new blade. And it's just a case of with almost no pressure, making a cut or two, or three, or maybe 200,000. And then it's gonna end up with a bit of dirt in it, and it's gonna look cool. This is not difficult. Once you get started and you make the first cut, uh, well, that's it, you ain't going back. Quite important to keep the line start to finish in one shot. Onto the neck now. It doesn't affect the playability, it doesn't affect, it. it you can feel it, but it, if anything, it actually improves things by giving you a bit more grip. I, I don't know, it's, it's a weird thing. I love the feel of cracked lacquer on a neck, I really do. And I know this is poly, so uh, shout at me if you think this is, is this, do you think this is a, a finish option or a desecration? Uh, let me know in the, uh, in the comments. <laughs> Cat, pigeons, you know.
Well, I'm quite happy with how this turned out. Judge away. I genuinely love the look. It's got, it feels like flame maple, of course. In fact, on the, uh, on the Les Paul that I did, which was my first attempt at this sort of finish, I had people shouting at me um, who hadn't actually watched the video who thought that I was taking a scalpel blade to a highly flamed, highly, highly flamed mahogany back, when in reality, uh, it, was, it was no such thing. Now, I was using a mixture of sort of dirt and uh, there was a little bit of silicon carbide in there and that matted down the finish a little bit. I didn't want to go too far, um, but uh, yeah, I'm happy. I suppose we should take it back to Josh to get this uh, thing put back together. New pickup day. Ooh, thank you, Ben. Well, this looks older than when it left me, which it is, but only a couple of days older. It looks a couple of decades older. Looks great. We can move on with this. And first thing I'm gonna do is get the wiring done. Uh, pickups are still waxing away. So in the interim, let's just get this cavity filled back up with bits. We've pulled everything out of the cavity and we're going to make it way more interesting. We are going to replace everything with some really decent components. And not only that, we are gonna wire this thing. Let me just take you down here. That's our wiring. Now, that is the same wiring that Keith Richards had in his SG. The plot thickens ever so slightly. These holes are too small for our new CTS pots, so I'm gonna widen them out with this Rima. It's when doing something like this that I derive some significant comfort in this being a relic of sorts. Okay. I am having to change what we were doing a little bit. This switch that was specced out for the last diagram that we were following it had a weird extra leaf on it and it's like a, a special custom that we'd have to order in. Um, so we are changing the diagram slightly but still to the same effect, still the same functions. Don't worry, you can still be just like the Rolling Stones. Freshly wound pickups straight out of the fridge over the next to a rocky road and a bottle of Estrella. That's really exciting. Can't wait to hear these. Oh yeah, lovely. Coming up, gorgeous. Looking very much older than their time. Not a nice thing to say to a human but a lovely thing to say to a guitar. There's nothing quite like something that is old and shiny at the same time.
probably see you feel it. Then these are looking way better. Okay guys, here she is. Here is our put back together Epiphone SG. And she looks amazing. Looks like a really old guitar, <laughs> amazingly. Good job, Ben. Looking old, but with brand new guts, because obviously we've done a full rewire. Um, we've got volume tone, a uh, volume, knobs for each pickup on here and one master tone. Um, I'm just going to run you through the sound, but we've got a lovely bell-like sound here. We've got a, a very flat kind of D profile neck. Um, really easy to move up and down like all SGs. The access is insane. So you can just, you can get right up here with, with just minimal, minimal effort. So let's see how she sounds. tonal range there um, yeah what can I say it's a lovely guitar and it absolutely could be yours so get yourself over to the great guitar giveaway click the link below and uh, you stand a chance of having this arrive at your doorstep see you later